The New Jersey Family Law Case Information Statement is now available with Leap for Word. Courts require the Case Information Statement to review the financial details of your client's cases. Leap for Word makes this form simpler to complete, saving you time and money. After completing your matter, use the new Case Information Statement with Leap for Word by going to Forms and Templates. Select your state and either search for the form by name or click the Case Information Statement folder. Open the form by double-clicking or click Select. When the statement opens, you notice you are already saving time because the information you entered in the Leap Matter pre-filled the statement, including client plaintiff, defendant, attorney, firm, and court details. The efficiency continues throughout the form, for example, when important dates, child, and contact information also populate the statement. The case information statement includes a panel on the right-hand side with prompts to enter your client's financial information. It also reminds you to complete the LEAP matter with plaintiff, defendant, child, employment, court, marriage, and divorce details. You can resize the panel. You can also grab and drag to undock the panel from Microsoft Word or redock it. You can also double-click Leap for Word to automatically redock the panel. If you ever X out of the Leap for Word panel, you can always reopen it by going to the Add-ins tab and clicking Leap for Word. The case information statement is divided into parts A through G. Leap for Word uses these sections, which can be collapsed or expanded. Begin completing the form with the Leap for Word panel. In Part A, enter the statement date, as well as all issues in dispute. Click Update Document so your choices populate the statement. Use the Collapse feature to minimize completed sections. In Part B, check whether clients have insurance obtained through employment or a business and explain any additional insurance. As before, click Update Document when you have finished this part. In Part C, Section 1, enter your client's income information under Yours. If the other party's information is unknown, type a reason. Use the X to delete a response or select Unknown from the dropdown. To finish Part C, Section 1, choose which tax forms are attached. And as we will continue to do, we will update the document and then collapse each completed part or section. In Part C, Section 2, enter present earned income and expenses. Helpfully, Leap for Word provides a calculator so you can quickly convert amounts, for example, an annual salary, to a gross weekly income. In Part C, Sections 3 and 4, enter your deductions. If you have other deductions, click plus to add them. Enter a description and enter an amount. Click save and new to continue entering an unlimited number of deductions. When you finish entering deductions, click save to return to the main panel. Notice when we click update document, rows have been added to the statement for each of the other deductions. Check the relevant boxes in Part C, Section 5. Notice that checking Yes will trigger a text field to appear so you can include an explanation. In Part D, enter your monthly expenses. Begin by entering the number of children into the joint or current lifestyle field, and then start with Schedule A, Shelter. 
For each expense, enter the amount or use the calculator to determine the amount. Choose the status if applicable. And finally, enter any notes that explain your expense. Continue the same for Part D, Schedule B, Transportation, and Schedule C, Personal. In Part E, enter Assets and Liabilities. To do so, click plus to add an asset. Select an asset type, select title to this property, enter a description, choose a date of purchase or acquisition, enter the current value and indicate the status, enter the date of evaluation, and check whether the asset is exempt. Click Save and New to continue entering additional assets. Repeat these steps for each asset and also for each liability. You can enter the assets and liabilities in whatever order you want because the Leap for Word add-in will automatically filter and categorize each entry so it appears in the correct place in the statement. If you ever start to enter an asset or a liability, but then realize you don't need it, just click Cancel. Once you finish entering assets and liabilities, click Update Document. As you can see, Leap for Word automatically expands each asset and liability type to accommodate your number of entries, segmented by which are included in the Equitable Distribution Analysis. Also, Leap for Word includes a running total of each of your assets and liabilities Part F is where you would state any special problems, like a complex valuation of a closely held business or family member medical problems. If no special problems exist, just type none. Part G of the case information statement is a checklist of required documentation. Check all that apply to your situation, then click Update Document. The case information statement holds an extensive amount of information about your client's financial situation. Leap for Word ensures the information is in the right place with as few steps as possible.